Hi, I'm Bill. If this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. So if you saw my last video on my Edge HD 8 where I'm starting to dial in back focus, understand where I may have tilt in my image train, and build a repeatable process for collimation, uh, I had indicated I was going to do some more work tonight. It's the uh, Monday, the uh, 28th of November. But the seeing is poor, and the last thing I want to do is try and chase the, the back focus and uh, when uh, there's poor seeing. So I thought, okay, i got everything set up. Tomorrow's supposed to be good seeing. So why don't I make use of the time and start to rebuild my dark library for my ASI 294mm Pro. And since I have my ASI Air Plus attached, to my Edge HD8 and my camera attached to it and filter wheel attached to the ASI Air Plus. I thought I would just do a demo here and uh, show you uh, how I'm going to approach it. Maybe there's a better way. So what I have here is uh, my Samsung tablet. I'm connected native to my ASI Air Plus and uh, And uh, just a brief update, it's official. I'm a 2 ASI Air uh, Plus uh, owner now. And uh, if you've been following the channel, you know that recently I uh, purchased one ASI Air Plus uh, to backfill for my Nuke and Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance, which I moved over to my Edge uh, HD8. And... Um, so I used the ASI Air Plus on my Z61 with the HEQ5 mount. And uh, I ran into a couple of Nina challenges and I thought, okay, I'll order a second ASI Air Plus uh, for the Edge 8 HD. But I'm going to switch back and forth between uh, the two uh, over the next few months to get a feel for what the pros and cons may be of each. In particular, when it comes to my Edge HD 8 and... Uh, so now I have two of them, so. All right, so uh, let's get into uh, doing the, um, I have uh, the process of how I'm setting up uh, in the ASI Air to take these images. Okay, so now the audio should be coming through my tablet. Uh, where I'm at is I'm in auto run. I am going to use auto run to create the library and um, Where it's going to go, it's going to go uh, Onto uh, an SD card that I have on my ASI Air Plus so I have the the native memory in the ASI Air Plus plus I have a SD card so let's go into auto run now I'm just going to use this, I'm going to give it a title and this is really totally arbitrary but it, I am going to say dark it's my 294 and I'm going to use a gain of 120 and so that's what I'm going to use and then I'm going to go in here and this is where I'll set up my sequence so I want to do a dark and um, I'm going to set some uh, shorter exposures this time in my uh, dark library because under Bortle 7 8 Skies, I'm going to try and do a little bit more imaging from home and I'll probably want to use some uh, shorter exposures. So um, let's go in here and let's start with a 60 second exposure. I'm going to use filter 1, which is my luminous filter. I am going to select, oh, I don't know, I'm comfortable with 30 darks, there's you can a lot of discussion around what the right number may be, and I'm going to select bin 2. And the reason I'm using bin 2 is because of pixel scale, using the 294, um, it has a 4.63 uh, microns uh, pixel size when in the bin 2. Uh, mode. So that's what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go OK here and then we'll come in here and then we'll make this one uh, 120, bin 2, dark, OK, and then we will 
come in here 120 we'll do a 180 uh, filter 130 then two okay and then we'll do uh, a 240 I think okay so for 240 I have to edit it and where's there's my keyboard two four oh done okay and let's um, come in here and let's do I generally don't go beyond 300 seconds so let's do that okay now what I want to show you here uh, let's see let's go back I've been cooling the camera to minus 10 when I use my 294 mm pro I generally don't have a problem uh, cooling to minus 10 if this was my 533 MC pro uh, then I'd probably only cool to minus 5 so uh, I've got the temperature right there and um, uh, that's not uh, what I want I want customize file name okay my little recorder there so I've kind of got a customized file name here so we'll see what actually happens all right so we're gonna just gonna go back into so here's the plan 60 120 180 240 300 all at bin 2 using a luminous filter I've got the lens cap on my edge HD 8 uh, that all looks good and then I am going to hit run and we'll uh, we'll wait for the first one to complete and then we'll take a look in and see if it created a, a, f a file folder and then uh, and then that's about it so uh, this is my approach to creating darks using the ASI Air Plus I'm on version um, 1.9 is that what I'm on uh, let's go to information yeah I'm on 1.91 I'm curious what the uh, version will be on the uh, ASI Air uh, Plus that I received last night. I haven't opened it up yet and turned it on, uh, but um, you know we'll see what it is. Uh, I don't know if you see this down in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, 4144 by 2822. That's because we're in bin. Uh, two mode, a gain of 120, and uh, current temperature is minus 10.5 C. And okay, the first uh, one has completed. And what you see here is now we have our dark folder, and we have a uh, interesting. Um, okay, and then hopefully up at the top you see. Uh, the relevant information dark 60 seconds bin to 294 mm one for uh, the filter gain of 120 the date 2022 1128 and the time uh, minus 10.5 and and that's the first one so uh, this all looks good so uh, very straightforward on how to set up uh, to take darks uh, matter of fact, everything about the ASI Air Plus is uh, pretty straightforward. There are some things uh, that it can't do that uh, Nina can do, and that's why this year I'm going to use uh, switch back and forth between Nina running on my Nuke, my B-Link uh, 59U, and my Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance. Um, at times that'll run Nina and then other times I'll use the ASI Air Plus depending on what I want to accomplish in a night. If there are no plugins that I want to use on Nina uh, then I think it's just more straightforward to use the ASI Air Plus. Okay uh, that's about it. I'm not going to go into directory structure and everything. I think that's a bit arbitrary. Everybody has their own idea I think on what uh, how to set up the uh, directories. 
Uh, but what you see, and I pretty much just used uh, the gain of 120 with the ASI 294. I know a lot of people move around at different gains. Uh, then you'd want to have a set of darks for each gain uh, that you may use. Uh, and then um, I might go and add one more. And let's see if I can do that here. Uh, 300, so 360. So let's just... Oh, okay, I have to stop capturing to add an additional um, sequence, so I'll leave that alone. I rarely go more than five minutes anymore, even if I'm out in a uh, Bortal 1 uh, site or a Bortal uh, 3 Plus and 4 where I mostly image when I travel to the dark site. So anyway, just a brief view of what it is like, at least the way that I approach setting up uh, to take uh, darks and I don't know if you see the circle on the screen but it says uh, four of 150 uh, images uh, or frames that it will take to complete the whole sequence. Oh let's see if it has an estimated time. Uh, okay down at the bottom it's telling me it's going to take seven hours and 26 minutes. It's going to use <clears throat> 3.18 GB and uh, total frames it's uh, down on the bottom here of 150 so what I'll do is uh, since I have everything set up um, I guess I could actually just said uh, just do shut uh, down ASI error can I change it okay so this is interesting uh, because this is the first time I've used the ASI Air, but it looks like I can just uh, shut it down after it finishes the sequence. Uh, although I will set an alarm uh, to wake me up because I do want to put my Telegizmos uh, cover uh, on the setup about there because uh, I'm expecting some uh, dew overnight and I don't want everything uh, drenched so it seems like seven hours 25 minutes would be a good time uh, to put on an alarm uh, to wake me up to go out there and cover everything up all right uh, sometimes this is what you can do on a cloudy night I know other people take their camera and they put it in the refrigerator there's a whole different way uh, a bunch of ways that you can do it I'm not saying this is the right way it's just a convenient way for me right now because I have everything uh, set up in the backyard hoping that tomorrow night I'll have some good seeing and then I can continue on uh, trying to sort out my, uh, my backspacing for back focus on my Edge uh, HD8. Okay. Okay, I thought before I close the video just to point out one more attribute to set your expectations. You see here in the screen, uh, these are all the frames taken last night, I'll break them out into separate file folders and put them into my dark library uh, directory structure. No big deal there. But I did want to point out um, the ASI Air right now is creating both a FITS file and a JPEG file. I've not found a use yet for that JPEG file. If, if, if you know how to turn that feature off in creating the uh, JPEG file, I'd like to eliminate it, but if it's useful to have that JPEG, please share it in the comments so I have a better understanding on why they're presenting me with both a JPEG and uh, the FITS file. All right, other than that, that's about it. Keep an eye out for our Astro Chats, um, and if you'd like to be on an Astro Chat, let me know. Say something in the comments, and we'll uh, work with you to get you scheduled. Other than that, wherever you may be in the world, uh, clear skies. Uh, hopefully what I demonstrated is it's pretty straightforward to create a dark library using the ASI Air Plus. In fairness, though, it's pretty straightforward to create one in Nina as well. So ultimately, you may have to decide which path to take. All right. Thanks a lot for dropping into the channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, be sure and hit the notification bell. And if you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, clear skies wherever you may be. Until next time.